Hello and welcome to the Double V Reviews Legends League. Uh, this is the fifth game that I've recorded. It's actually the fourth game of the regular season of my second season in NBA 2K13's association mode. Uh, I recorded this two or three weeks ago, but I wanted to go back and put some commentary over it just because it was a great game and uh, they have a lot of great players on this team uh, both teams obviously but uh, as you see Wilt Wilt is still Chamberlain in the different jerseys and the Warriors up there but uh, yeah this team's got a starting five that benefited from me in a trade actually not too long ago uh, I traded Sean Kemp to these guys for for Clay Thompson and David Lee who um, who have been great for me Clay Thompson, in particular. Uh, Clay, uh, David Lee, not so much. But you probably also saw Chris Mullen in that intro video there. Uh, they have starting five showing up here in a second, but as I said, this is my second season, so you'll see a player, uh, Shabazz Muhammad, from, who's currently a freshman at UCLA, and he's going to light me up this game. I'll let you know that. I'm not going to give away the final score or anything, but as you see, they had a starting five of Steph Curry, Chris Mullen, Shabazz Muhammad, Sean Kemp, and Will Chamberlain. And that's definitely the the most loaded team I've played this year. They, these guys are stacked. But with Sean Kemp, as much as I love the Rain Man, uh, I wasn't able to score a whole lot with him. And he had a massive contract, and I really needed a shooter, so he was expendable. Uh, I definitely would have kept him if I had other options for trades, but uh, I like what I got from him. And uh, oh, yeah, he tries to tries to hammer that open tip. <laughs> He's a little pissed off at me for the trade, probably. I thought we had something good going. Last outing for Golden State, they won that game against the Bobcats in Charlotte. Well, the thing that served them best in that game was their fantastic three-point shooting. And the way they were rotating, moving the ball, getting it from side to side, getting open on the perimeter. So here's Muhammad. And he's a big physical guard who is uh, one of those guys you see play in high school and know he's NBA ready. Uh, and there he goes right away, hitting the J. Uh, he's a lefty, and as you see, putting up 22 a game in uh, my season right now. And the thing is with him, too, I could have had him. I didn't realize he was still available in the draft because he ended up going pretty low, like uh, 24th or 25th in the draft. Uh, and the Warriors offered me a trade on draft day for someone who I ended up getting rid of Regardless, I think it was like Serge Ibaka or someone like them, and I and I turned him down, and I ended up taking um, Mclemore, Ben Mclemore, who who got and ended up getting traded to the Warriors anyways, and uh, so that's how I got Ben Mclemore and whiffed on Shabazz Muhammad because he would have definitely solved my backup two guard problem. Even though, I mean, he's definitely good enough to start a shooting forward, but I got someone named uh, Dominique in that position who uh, Shabazz just stole from. Wilt. 
Well, not only does he He's definitely going to kill me on the boards early in this game, but if I remember correctly, I shut him down pretty good the second half. But that's a big man right there. And the only player ever to score 100 points in a game in the NBA. That's, that's a, a mistake shot by West right there. Let's go to Doris Burke, who moments ago caught up with head coach Larry Drew. And uh, what's the news down there, Doris? One player that he's talked to his guys a lot about is Stephen Curry. Well, this Warriors team, they play well together, too, in this game. They really pass the ball around. And uh, Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp makes them a lot better than they were in this last season. And they got a guy like Chris Mullen at their two guard in... I think he's a, a I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame yet, but he he'll be there eventually. I'm guessing. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. The dish to Wilkins. Looking to end the run. And in he goes for the easy two. I know they had to take the lid off the hoop, I guess, but they finally get one to go there. Yeah, a bit of an unsettled start. I mean, maybe that'll get them going. So up to this point, I've uploaded about maybe eight videos on YouTube, and I'm getting them all ready to start posting them on the site. Uh, so this is my fifth of the NBA 2K13 videos, and I've recorded about maybe four or five more since this game. So you'll be seeing all of those posted posted on uh, doublebreviews.com which is my website in fact if I haven't said that if I haven't talked about that I'm Brett Black of doublebreviews.com and yeah I'm the head writer editor pretty much pretty much the only writer at this point <laughs> it's my own own website but uh, it's doing very well and it's a site where I talk about uh, video games, uh, movies. I post a lot of trailers. I talk about music. I have Music Mondays every Monday, obviously. I have Thursday Trailer Shootout, which is every other Thursday. I'm working on that tonight. I'll get there, Dominique. Oh no, that's okay. That is that is Wilkins. But anyways, yeah, that's me. I'm Brett Black. You should check out WVReviews.com. Um, today, we're celebrating the new phone app uh, for, or well, not phones, all mobile devices, Android and iOS. I just released the new phone app today, so I'm very excited to have that. I've stepped out of uh, 2009 and caught up. And so it looks great on telephones now and iPhones, uh, Androids. Very proud of it. Glad to see it. There's still some bugs with it, uh, but those will get fixed. But it's a great way to look at it on your phone because before it was a pretty, pretty piss poor setup that I had on there. But, but so far, uh, it's a, been a great new year. I start reporting on the Oscars starting next week. I'll be picking a category every day and uh, picking who I think will be winning. Uh, I'll probably end each week with a major category like best picture, best actor, etc. Uh, at the end of each week. And then, uh, of course, best picture will actually be the last one I pick. But I'm excited. I gotta, I gotta catch up on these movies. I didn't go to as many movies as I would like this year. Uh, obviously, you didn't see much reviews of movies this year. It's just because I uh, generally, uh, I go to see a movie and, you know, it matters what my energy is like, whether I'll actually write a review or not. So, most even though the website is called Double Beer Reviews, I, it's not all reviews. It is my opinion on everything uh, I write about, and stuff, stuff I'm excited about in the future, stuff I like to do. It's, it's definitely a side about me <laughs> in many ways, and uh, I talk about my fiance Marika a lot. Uh, my friends. I got a lot of friends out there. I like talking about my uh, buddies Max, Mike, Hawk. All you guys, big big shout out. Uh, 
So that was Mike, amazing. You know, all you guys, you know, whoever I didn't mention, Mike Phillips of the Neocom Group. You got Dorian Shirthood. Every in every one of my Facebook fans, my Twitter fans. I'm very appreciative of the support you've been given. Um, but you can always give more, you know, don't don't stop. Uh, think my praise, think you've done a great job and that's it. Uh, you know, I always need help, you know. Share my tweets, share my face, uh, Facebook posts, uh, like my Facebook page. All that's extremely helpful, even if you just do it every once in a while. You've got to be, you know, super fans. Like, my mom's a super fan, and she reposts and likes everything I put up. So, love that. There's Shabazz from the corner. He's, uh, he's got seven points already. So, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic player in this game already, and he's only like 20 years old. In their conferences. And you know what, Kevin? It's only two games. And that's all you've got to turn the tables the next season. You better make the most of that opportunity. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. Second, the Warriors. Yeah, so much of their defense revolved around their ability to block shots in the low post. That's why their numbers were so good last season. So it's Atlanta now. Six point game. That's good. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Terrence for the tray ball. Uh, he's been dynamite for me so far this uh, in this second season. He's given me a second real deal scorer to go with Dominique. I can see them both averaging around 20 this year. Um, Tony Rhodes definitely getting a lot more run for me. As Jerry West is a little older now. He's uh, like 36, 37 or something at this point in the game. And so I do give Tony Roden a little more run. But Jerry West does look like my point guard of uh, for this season. I don't see myself doing uh, any trades unless things get, you know. We'll see how the, how the season goes. But right now I'm very much liking my team. Ooh, boy. Yeah, that's the that's the dunk of the night. <laughs> that's Shabazz again, man. Kids, oh, he's killing me. So I think I'm gonna look at his. Um, oh yeah, you can see he was first round, twenty fifth pick. So I had a pick just below that, like twenty second, something like that. I had traded up for it, but uh, I d I had no idea he was available. I definitely I would have picked him, even though I've played with them per se in this game um i knew i'd love a good player like that. i mean look at the, he's got those all those signature skills already that's that's really impressive for a rook uh and he's got all the talent in the world he would have been you know my shooting forward of the future because dominique you know once dominique goes i'd probably he'd be good enough to let dominique fly at the point when he's developed so to uh, as in you know flies and leave or get traded <laughs> uh, but you'll notice if you watch muhammad too he's a excellent passer in this game at least uh he gets about six or seven assists ross again yeah ross uh there's there's Every shot, every time he touches the ball is a green light. Uh, you know, it's, you'll notice it's better, at least for me, I like to get the shots off really quick with him. He gets the ball, he's either going to shoot it or he's not. Uh, he's not the greatest ball handler, at least I'm not with him. And I find it's best for him just to catch and fire it up because he just goes straight up and down. Where he is is where, you know, where he's going to end up. So, great shooter in this game. Really quick release. Uh, great player. Uh, he's athletic, though. If you go the hole, you're not going to be disappointed. When he's got those up and downs, he does uh, crush him. But Ross is going to take a seat now for uh, Clay Thompson out of uh, Wazoo. He's a little more athletic. Or not more athletic than... Um, Ross in this game, but he's he can go the hole a little better. He he adjusts well to people trying to block his shot. 
That's the shot he was looking for. He seems a little stronger and thicker. Here's Barnes. Gets it to go. And it's a but 10 point warrior lead. Ross is my boy. Step slow here early on. I agree with you. I mean, they're allowing too but many Thompson's, success, Thompson's been huge. I mean, he's a definitely, uh, he's probably been my best bench player so far this season. And I definitely look for him. Uh, I'm not sure if, I think one of my last games that I uploaded was a game I busted out with Maggetti. Uh, he, I had not been hitting anything with him. Then he busted out with a 16 point game. I forget who that was against, but, uh, I'll have to look into that. Eddie House, always a dangerous 2K player. Play answers. Dead eye shooter, Clay Thompson. But that's Eddie House, man. Uh, I used to pick him up in every 2K game. He's definitely a, a gunner off the bench, someone who can knock down the open three. And he's not afraid to shoot it. And you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. And the first one at the line is good. And the Warriors making a change here. So this is Harrison Barnes, current rookie out of North Carolina. Uh, he's got a world of potential. Uh, not not quite the player I thought I'd be when he was in high school. I thought he was like a like a Kobe esque type of player, but uh, he's still going to be still going to be an excellent player. Big, uh, very fundamental. Kind of a slow release on his jump shot. He's not as athletic as you look, but now I mean that's not true. I mean, I think he's deceptively athletic. He crushed one earlier this year that is probably the best dunk in the NBA so far this year. Outside of maybe one or two by uh, Mr. Griffin, of course. So back for quarter two. Now early on, at least right now, I am preferring to upload hour-long games rather than the quick uh, by quarter because I don't want to upload that many videos. It's just to me, it's just. I don't know. I just try to load the full game, but if you guys think I should upload it another way, maybe um, you know, a quarter at a time, let me know. I might experiment with that later on. But uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on this stuff. I mean, I know there's definitely some sound issues we're experiencing um, in the videos early on. I'm not using the best of uh, laptops for this project. Uh, I do have an excellent microphone, but I'm not sure if it's extremely compatible with this uh, with this uh, laptop. But uh, let me know um, what's going on, what you think of the uh, what you think of the videos, because uh, feedback is a great thing. He's taking care of business at the line, and you expect nothing less from him. Of course, a terrific shooter from the strike. Young's shot is off. They have really been a group of glass eaters out there today, fellas. I mean, just devouring any and all rebounds. And I think that's the difference in the game right now. A double-digit lead in that category. Get open, get open. West kicks to Davis. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. This is his first chance at the line tonight. 
just 72% from the line last year. Not great numbers, but you know, of course there are worse out there, that's for sure. I'm definitely liking Anthony Davis so far. Uh, he's not... He's a lot cheaper than Kemp, for one thing. Um, I seem to score a little... Uh, a little easier, at least it's not necessary that I go to him. He can thrive in many ways. He's a great defender. Uh, I get a lot of steals with him, it seems like. He's always deflecting the ball. Uh, and I can hit free throws with him. So, I have uh, definitely enjoyed his, his game. And I did have a game with him where he scored like 26, 27 points. So, uh, it shows he can put the ball in the hole, too. Shot clock at six. Golden State moving the ball around. There's the triple. The offensive rebound. The Hawks trail by 13. Here's Wilkins. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Wilkins has got his second basket of the night. And the pass to McLemore. Feeds it to Chamberlain. Got it. Good job in the low post. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. Atlanta calls timeout. He can't be pleased with all these easy looks they continue to give up in the paint. They're just way too porous as a defense right now. A lot of holes in that defense. It's a good time to use a timeout here. The Warriors making a switch here. Beatrice has checked in. Hey, look at, look at, look at. Rest passes to Lee. Beatrice on him. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. The Hawks have missed two free throws in the game going five for seven. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. Mullins checked in for McLemore. And both free throws good for Lee. Hitting your free throws is a good way to get back into it. It stops the clock and extends the game. I mean, you want to take advantage of that situation. And they're shooting much better from the line here in the second quarter. So far, they haven't missed one. I can imagine they're going to hear an earful about this next stop. I mean, that's three straight field goals given up right in the middle of the lane. Inexcusable. Well, defense starts at the rim. I mean, you want teams shooting the ball from the outside, and that's not happening. They're just giving up everything inside. All right, I'm back. Uh, oh, the Wilkins. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, so at this point, Wilkins definitely kept me in the game. Uh, there's definitely danger of Golden State running away with this right now because they're hitting everything. One, one, one element of that. But look at Wilkins. He's snatching boards. He's got eight, eight good, uh, eight points here that are big. to Beatrice. He kicks it to Barnes. The train. Rebound by the Hawks. Wilkins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ross. And the shot is good. Ross has got four points this quarter. He's a guy that'll take it right into the teeth of the defense. A lot of his points come from inside of five feet. Here is House. Defended by West. Out of bounds, the Warriors able to retain possession here. Here comes Mullen around Let's the pick. No, nope. the 2K leaderboard and see last year's high scoring team. You definitely got to keep an eye on Mullen. He's yeah, number one in the league in points per game. One of the better ago. shooters it's you'll ever see. So much confidence, such unselfish basketball. Got a piece of it. West with the steal. Outside Wilkins leads him in there. And stolen by Chamberlain. Mullen kicks to house. That's how to not take advantage of a turnover. 
The feet to Barnes. Outside Mullen. Six to shoot. That's good. Mullen's got six points. Well, he's got the special ability, Kevin, to make <laughs> shots while being heavily guarded. And Nothing but. I don't know how he does it, but he figures out a way to get the ball. Can't give him that space. Under pressure. And you've really got to also admire his steadiness. I mean, no matter what the situation is, he's not going to change his game and risk a drop off. Very consistent in his approach and production. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. He did not look too happy about some of the things he said. The bigs are actually getting it done this game. I've been struggling with David Lee. I can't uh, seem to figure him out. He's a decent power forward. If there's anyone I want to trade, it'll probably be him. But I don't know what to trade for. I did have an offer of Sam Perkins for him uh, and a draft pick. I did consider that because I would just move Anthony Davis to the power forward and have... Uh, Sleepy Sam knocking him down from outside. At least in the last 2K, several 2K games, I've been able to knock him down with Sam. There's Muhammad being aggressive again. He's he doesn't back down already. Oh, there's Gordon McGetty. Maybe this is the game I went off with him with. I recorded a few games a few games ago, but. Uh, this might be the game that Corey McGetty, I finally figured out his shot. Ooh. Yeah, I remember I wanted that one. Definitely wanted that one. Because Mullen comes back and digs one in my eye. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Outside Mullen. Back to Curry. Down low and stolen by Roten. Here we go, one on one. Here's Maggetti. They get the rebound. Blocked. Tipped. Oh, Maggetti. Ah, off the backboard to himself. <laughs> he tries a little everything in this game. Number 21. And Maggetti pulls her down. Yeah, he struggled with his shot this quarter, and he's got to find a groove somehow. Board up, Maggetti. And you know why he was open there. And I've said this before, but he's definitely. Oh, I let go of that one late. You can see that. Um, Maggetti is by far my favorite Duke player of all time. Uh, I don't really like any other Duke players, to be honest. I can't even think of a single one that I do like. Um. Although, you know, I got to respect Coach K as much as I have hated him in the past. Admittedly, uh, it's easy to see he's an incredible coach. But maybe. I, you know, I don't fucking know about that. You know, he, he wins with talent, but then again, he has like 12 McDonald's All-Americans every year. Here's McGetty. Splash. Uh, so, Krzyzewski... He has like 12 or 10 McDonald's All-Americans every year. Even though McDonald's All-American, I mean, that name has lost a little credit in my, uh, my eyes for their... One thing, they did pass on uh, Tony Roten to be in that game. That was ridiculous. But uh, Coach K, when's the last time Duke won a title, for one thing? Maybe like 2006 or something? Or, oh, shit, it was like only two, a couple years ago, actually. Now I think about it. But... He has an ungodly mount down every year, and I don't know. I just they beat you know the in '91, and that made me hate him forever. So what can I say? There's McGetty again with the board. McGetty was among the first guys. It was him and Elton Brand in. Um, I think it was Avery. They have some point guard named Avery or something. Uh, they left early. To the, they entered the draft early that year. And they were the first players to ever do that in the Coach K era. And it's just, you know, it wasn't a sign of the times because that time had already come for like every other team. But somehow Coach K would take these players who were so good in high school and everyone thought, oh man, 
they could be going pro, but they're going to Duke instead. But then he turns them into players who like end up being not very good, and they end up staying four years. Guys like uh, like Josh McRoberts. Yeah, he's in the pros now, and he's still holding down a job, which obviously that's saying something. He's obviously a good player, but he was like all world. I mean, everyone thought he was going to be so good when he got out of – when he was in high school. And uh, – he has nothing to do on the future, you know. How you are in high school has nothing to do with how good you are in the future. I've seen so many guys who you'd laugh at when they told you they wanted to be, you know, a college ball player. And then you see him three, four years later and, you know, it's a different different player, different person, you know. And it looks now some games that have yet to tip off. It'll be the 76ers against the Celtics in Boston. Start time. I'll let you watch the rest of this halftime report. Also on the docket, it'll be the Knicks out in New York against the Jazz. A 7:30 Eastern time is tip off. And a look here at the other NBA action. Over at AT&T Center, the Spurs will face off against the Bucks. A 7:30 Eastern tip time. And now it's simply time for you to pick and win. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Challenge Ross with a strong contribution so far in this one. It's been nothing but positive for this. So, I know I've said this, but I have had such a blast recording these video games. It's something I've always wanted to do. I had thought of this before about, you know, sharing my whole 2K experience, my whole season before. And I'm so excited to be able to do this for the first time. Because uh, I have a website to do it with at Double B Reviews. And so, it's... Uh, it, I'm very excited for the next few months to see me go through the season and like the pressure of knowing that actually you know people have seen how I play and and uh, they'll be able to judge everything I do and like see if I win or lose and you know cheer against me or for me and it's just gonna be you know it's fun you know, I'm I'm excited. I didn't get my starters in to search second, so I'm going to jack it up with Corey Maggetti as much as possible. Dave Lee. When you go to the shoot around uh, drills with Lee, you can see his hot zones. This direction I'm going, this is definitely this. Ooh, there's Shabazz for three. This direction I'm going, when you post Lee down on this strong side where uh, this side McGetty has a ball, and if you post him on the block, he's definitely strong around there and on the and that side of the court specifically. That shot's a little long for Wilkins. There's Lee again. Knock it down, Corey. There you go, boy. Tie ball game. How about uh, Jerry West with a bunch of zeros in that first half? Zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists. I think that's what it said. Last year's Warriors and where they ranked in the NBA. A chance to check that out now, Kevin. First in scoring. First in rebound. And they were also number one in assist. This team loves to find each other. They're unselfish. They take good shots. Got 108 points a game. That's like three more than the second place team did. I didn't average. I only averaged like maybe 96, 97 a game last year's team, something like that. And that's after, you know, especially the beginning of the season, I wasn't scoring. It took me a long time to score 100 points. So I was winning all my games with defense. And even though in reality, it's like my defense can be pretty piss poor sometimes. I cannot block shots. And I can't rebound. So those are two things that ail my team. I mean, I couldn't block shots last year when I had who had Josh Smith and Serge Ibaka. You know, 
It's like you would think I would be able to block a few shots with those two, but no. I was one of the last place in the NBA. tight as this game is, you have to like their chances the way they've been rebounding. I have a pretty good margin in that department. Jerry pulling the offer. Yeah, lucky there. A tight game here in Atlanta. Curry attacking number 21. See, that's where Ross, I don't excel with him, at least. I haven't figured out a good shot off the dribble with him. Though in uh, real life, uh, Ross can uh, definitely create his own shot. I got to see him for two years at UW, and it's real nice. He, he does a crossover sort of step-back move that he uses and uh, get a shot over a defender. He's been fun to watch this year for the Raptors. Uh, he's been... Uh, He's been dunking the shit out of the ball. And I'd like to see him in the dunk contest, actually, and there's probably a good chance he will be, since most of those like to have younger players. If they're doing a dunk contest, I, I don't know how they fuck that thing up so bad. It used to be a showcase event, but it's like Blake Griffin said, you know, he said it's all the promotion for it that sucks. The actual dunk contest itself isn't that bad, but when you get... When you have to like show up to all these for these pictures and events all the time to talk about it, that's when it gets ridiculous. It's like, okay, we know when it's going to happen. You know, people know. It's like just take a few pictures for one day. Or I don't, you know, I know it's a money machine and everything, but it's like, you know, if you want to get them to do it, then you know, just lay off them a little bit and say, hey, you're going to do it, and then show up. I don't know. It's just, um, I, you know, I'd love to see. It was a shame that we only got to see Vince Carter do it. Uh, I, I think it was just the one time that he did it, right? Uh, dunk contest? I, I can't remember. Um, and I don't have a fact checker here. So, uh, but I do have a laptop, though, and I can look that up. But... Well, he's got to get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's the reason. For Vince Carter, if, if when he was in the dunk contest, you know, it's a coach's job it was the most the ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Opponent, you know? He... I mean, he went out there and he did, like, this windmill to start off. He did this, like, this, like, 180 windmill or something, from what I remember. And it was, like, it just blew your mind from the get-go. Vince Carter dunk contest. So I've got a little cold going on right now, but uh, actually I feel great. This is the first, or this is my third of three days off from the hotel. And so it has been fantastic. He kicks to Roten. To tie. Atlanta again missing. But yeah, the only one I'm seeing now is that Vince Carter slam dunk contest. Uh, and I'll, I put a link to it. As you see up above right now. Uh, there's a link to it. And yeah, when he did it, <laughs> it was. We'd never seen anything like it. It was the best. It was he was the best con dunk contest dunker I've ever seen. So you don't see guys like the best dunkers. I mean, why not LeBron against Blake? Let's see, throw in uh, I don't know, Nate Rob. You know, come in there for fun. You know, because God, he's won it so many times. You know, it's his throne. You know. I don't care who won it last year, uh, Jeremy Evans, whoever his name is. I don't care who won it last year. You got who? Who? Okay, you want who? We got Nate Rod. I consider him the king of you know dunk champs right now because guys like LeBron just won't fucking enter it. Because you know the thing is, when in his high school dunk contest, I don't remember being like wholly impressed with the dunks he was doing because I think well he might have been taking it a little easy maybe I don't know. I'm not calling the guy out. He is the best player on planet Earth. Curry's got seven points in the game. 
The Hawks trail by five. Here's Thompson. He uses both hands to jam it in. You know, the dunk was great, but I didn't care for that interior defense there, guys. It was non-existent. You're right, Clark. You know, it was way too easy. I don't think the coach liked it either. Look at, it, look at that face. Uh -oh. <laughs> it doesn't get much easier than that. They have yeah, to tighten that's up. Clay. That was embarrassing. By himself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. All business there, not messing around one bit. Busted right with one. He's not going to pass off that one. Nope. That's kind of his trademark. Those slams like that. I know he didn't comment on it, but the last time Tony had a breakaway, uh, he ex I accidentally passed it off to a Corey McGetty. But uh, not that time. Curry kicks to Barnes. Chris Miller with the steal. And so far, uh, what's this, the fourth or fifth game at this point, uh, Tony has played great for me. Um, he's actually averaging a little less minutes. Even though earlier I said he's playing more, he's playing more in like crunch time, I would say. But uh, he's actually averaging slightly less minutes than he did overall last season. I think that actually had to do with the fact that when I traded for him, uh, it was like, I don't know, 20 games in maybe. And he had already gotten 20 games worth of uh, like full-time NBA minutes. But I don't think he was getting that many minutes there. So he's just getting less minutes, I guess. <laughs> now I think about it. But, oh, there's Muhammad. But uh, Muhammad's not shooting too well uh, when it comes to He's missed a lot of wide-open shots, but he's definitely impressive and I wish I would draft him out to McGinn let it go with a three the shot is off the Warriors go the other way with it 52 seconds left in the third quarter it's Curry with the drive number 21 and fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. It's going to be on Joel Prisbilla. Well, he stopped the dunk there. That was about the only play he could make. Well, you don't like Ooh. the foul, you don't you like got to finish the that. First free throw is good. You got to finish that. He's making a switch yeah. here. Young's checked in. Different look here for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut. He's checked in for Chamberlain. Beatrice comes in for Sean Kemp. McLemore's checked in for Barnes. And Mullen subbed in for Steph Curry. Roden gets to McGetty with the shot. Another miss by McGetty. The Warriors trail. They better get a move on. About three seconds between shot and game play. So McGetty's gone cold. Um, the Warriors I was busy talking about or looking for Vince Carter highlights when. He was uh, going off, but I think that's that's most definitely the best performance I've had for him uh, of this season. And it's what it's done is assured me that I'll keep him on the team because I'm I'm if I'm capable of doing that, McGetty, I'm going to hold on to him because he does other things well, like play defense and uh, get steals. He draws fouls too. He gets he goes to the line a lot. Um, Play. Yeah, I'm definitely shooting out with him. Shot a little early, but luckily the Warriors don't seem to take advantage of it here and just launch a bad shot. So there we go. Thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has a report on our Sprite uncontainable game. Hi, Doris. Hi, guys. Today's uncontainable game is Corey Maggetti. Energy, passion, he plays. He's provided all of them from the bench and done everything you could have asked for a reserve. We'll see what else he can do in the fourth. Great, Doris. Thanks. And when you look at that textbook contribution, guys, coming from one of your reserves, he really fit that definition here tonight. Yeah, he's really been the X factor in this game. You know, to be honest, I, I don't.
think they were ready for him defensively. It seemed like they just didn't have a plan on how to guard him. Well, you know, one of the things about having a guy like him come off the bench is that it gives you a burst. He's a power surge, and he creates immediate matchup problems, especially when he gets hot. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Chamberlain is out there with Bogut. Then it's Muller. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's McLemore at the three. Down to five on the shot clock. West, especially when he gets hot. Like, this is the only time he's gotten hot in my, well, five games. Short season. But I did have all this uh, preseason. I had him pretty much the whole preseason, so. Here's West. His first bucket. First anything coming in the fourth quarter, except turnovers, probably. And, and bricks. Yeah, jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. West passes to Lee. And he feeds it to Ross. West guarded by Kirk. The pass to Ross. Over Mullen. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. The first one falls. And the Warriors making a change here. about a minute here in the fourth. The bounds, Atlanta takes possession. The Hawks leading by four. West outside. Now Young inside. That ball, nice feed that time from Jerry West. Nice teamwork there. The pick, freeing up his teammate. Feeds it to Kemp. It's stolen by Davis. Rest outside. There we go, Jerry. Uh, he's got a dime. Dime and a tray ball this quarter start. Now oh, good defense by Davis. West up on top. Knock that down. Ah, oh, had a shot before, but it got rejected. Ouch. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, guys, and as long as they're in the lead, he's going to continue to try to find his rhythm. Number 21. <laughs> oh, shit. Here's Mullen. Hits the jumper in space. Well, they've done a lot of their damage. That was wishful. Here, guys. I mean, knocking down those shots with regularity. I'm about to bring Dominique in here shortly. He's rested up for this stretch run. Because it's going to be a tight game. Dominique Wilkins has checked in for Thaddeus Young. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Guys, well, Larry Drew had some advice for his team over that last break. He was highly animated when he was talking to them, telling them this is going to be a huge win for us. Well, my first Call of Duty video is live as of right this minute. I had to give a commentary over the first level of Black Ops 2. I'm going to do a whole playthrough of that game. Uh, I, I only wanted to play through it once. Because, uh, and so I put it on the... Oh, there's Muhammad. Yeah, he's got 12 points uh, this half. 21 for the game. But uh, anyways... Uh, I wanted to play through all of Call of Duty, and I just wanted to do it one time, so I put it on the hardest difficulty level to get you most uh, achievement points. So, that should be fun. I'm more of a Battlefield guy, but Call of Duty games are always worth a playthrough. Oh, well, rejected, and definitely some, uh, give it a few weeks worth of, uh, of multiplayer, multiplayer use, so... It's a six point lead. Something I'm looking forward to. But you can find all my videos on YouTube. Uh, you should be able to type in play it black. Um, or just look for my double B reviews YouTube page. I think it's under double B reviews. I am new to YouTube. And uh, just one, one second. I got to look at my account. Because my name's Brett Black. You can find 
you can find and that's the way I see my name on there I still don't understand how YouTube works exactly but you will also you'll be able to find them on doublebeerviews.com here starting start tonight I'll start posting some videos but uh, I'll have a hub for all my YouTube videos so are you kidding me they're like different guys this half they haven't missed a single free throw Stepping up and knocking him down. So Wilkins is getting in and starting Corey to go to work right away. He's perfect from the line this time. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. To end the run, Curry dishes to Mullen. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got assist number seven for him tonight. He's been hot for most of this game, and if he keeps it up, his team could turn things around. Ross, defended by Mullen. Davis with a screen on Mullen. Ross kicks to Wilkins. A shot from the low post is good. And the Hawks lead by eight. I like it. He could have gone for the forced finish, but opted instead for... Turn around the... pick and roll here with uh, Davis. But, yeah, it's all decoy to get it to uh, Dominique, apparently. He's actually played very well. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Yeah. He took it right at Muhammad and said, uh, here you go, son. Try to block it. And here is Curry. West. Yeah, it seemed like he's had, he was having a real quiet game up until a few minutes ago. Here's West. I knew he was playing well right before he went to the bench before the fourth quarter. So, Woo. Wilkins got that fire, uh, the fire emblem you see below him. So I'm gonna be looking for him. Yep. Oof. Yep, 10 point lead. Things are looking good. Warriors trail by 10. Right side curve. Let's it go from deep. That's good. Curry's got five points in the quarter. He's locked in right now, guys. Hitting some big shots here in the fourth quarter. West kicks to Ross. Wilkins with a screen on Mullen. Oof. The kick out to Wilkins. Starting to show up. Incredible. He's definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you? Yeah, that's Ross. Ross ain't great with a lot of defenders and ooh. Good lord. I'm saying Ross isn't that great with uh a good defense trying to stop the uh, the attack to the hole, but you get him open on the J and he, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, launch it. Yeah. <laughs> Those are those ones you got to take. When you've had a hot, hot game, coming off the bench, you haven't had that kind of game in a while, you got to take that shot. Had those stats. Even if they come down hit a three on the other end. This is a nice play that the Hawks run. I like this one. Oh. <laughs> well executed. Dominique. He's taking over this fourth.
Kemp passes to Kerr. Number 21. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number eight now on the night. Ross kicks it to West. A three is launched. Offensive rebound. Ross uh -oh. to West. Yeah. Can't leave him. Five threes. Five threes for a rookie on me. That was not a smart shot by West, but six to shoot. Took it anyways. Here's Wilkins. Yeah, give it to him. And so he draws the final shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> Three point lead. This is uh getting tense. The rook is going to the line for a chance for uh I think it's twenty-fifth and twenty-six points here. He drops the first one and that brings them within two. And I think this kid really will be a good player in the pros, too. I wouldn't be surprised to see him come to the league and put up, you know, 17, 18 a game right away as a rookie. I wouldn't be surprised one bit. But, uh, I mean, he's got a lot going for him. Stupid NCAA had to make make a big deal out of eligibility issues for him to start his UCLA career and that, I thought that was stupid like, they are way too strict that's a good play right there oh flop to me 15.8 left, and uh, they're going to have a shot to win it here. Uh-oh. Shabazz for the win. Oh. Escape that one. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Johnny Wilkins. Well, thank you for watching. Um, we're going to show some highlights here of the players who stood out in today's game, I think. Um, can't remember this video but let's start Dominique as player of the game and none more deserved it that's a nice shot by Ross here but once again my name is Brett Black I'm a double B reviews.com uh, the video games are a new segment to the the show, and I'm calling it or to the website, and we're calling it "Play It Black," as in uh, Brett Black. Um, yeah, and thank you for visiting my site. Whenever you do, because you should, you should like it on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, all that shit. Because um, I think you'll it'll be worth your time, and uh, you'll get to see some new exciting video games and movies and trailers and you'll get to hear what I think about it and uh, it's a great fucking website what can I say and I got a great designer uh, Dorian Yarnelson of shirthood.com you should go to his site Site. Uh, my fiance Marika does a lot of the design work for me as well uh, she has her own website at withoutground.com and look for exciting things from us in the future if you want to invest and give us money um, we're always would love to take money because <laughs> uh, we've gotten zero so far uh, 
from the government, etc., and from all our different schemes. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but no, seriously, her without ground uh, has some very exciting stuff going on. Um, with Double B Reviews has great stuff going on. It, the site is it's looking it's going to be a great year for it, and uh, I can't wait for to see the growth of it and to finally start making some money off it you know is is what i i do it because i love it but i also hope that it can make me at least enough money to cover like living expenses you know i want to be able to work on it full time uh right now i work at a hotel uh full time as well as doing this so it's uh it's makes for long days but I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying the hell of it. I love it. It's seen Muhammad with 26 points, seven assists, two steals, two blocks, eight turnovers though. So that that hurt. And he went eight for 21. So and he got Sean Kemp only shooting four shots and uh, Wilt not doing much after that first quarter. But if you look at uh, look at these averages by Wilt Chamberlain, here's he was a 2020 guy. He was a 34.7 one year and 22 rebounds. 44.8 and 24. 50 points and 25.6 rebounds a game. Good God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know. Oh. No one will be able to do that again. Uh, it's just, you know, different game. Unless they're aliens like Space Jam or something. But that's about it for me. Um, thank you so much for listening once again and uh, seeing the site. It's Double B. I'm out.